Hi Fraggle friends, in this video we're going to try to find out whether this boat, a Lagoon 420 that we are about to buy, does actually have cracked bulkheads or not. I don't like to waste any of your time so we are going to get right into it. Stay tuned and let's find out and see what we found. Hi Fraggle friend, we are an expat family living in Qatar, dreaming of liveaboard sailing catamaran life. In our last few episodes you saw our search for a sailing catamaran. We then found one we loved in Cyprus. In this video we show you the moment we inspected for cracked bulkheads on this Lagoon 420. We have minimal experience so a lot to learn about sailing and catamarans which we cannot wait to share with you. Join us for our sailing adventure as we jump into the deep and make our dreams come true. So let's find out whether this boat, a Lagoon 420 that we are about to buy, does actually have cracked bulkheads or not. One important thing to note first of all, that cracked bulkheads on a 420 is not a really common problem. They seem to occur more often on the Lagoon 450. But still of course if you have the opportunity to check for cracked bulkheads, of course it's a good idea. Why not, right? The first thing you can do when you are checking for cracked bulkheads and the most easy thing to do as well is to check all the furnishings on the boat for alignment problems. So if you notice a small gap in between different panels or you notice a door that is not straight in its hinges for example, that could be a cue that one of the bulkheads is having issues or might be damaged or even cracked. That's something I can quite easily do so I'll just walk around the boat and show you what I found in that respect. So here I am in the forward cabin of the port hull and just looking some of the alignment for the furnishings. So for example here next to the door, in the corner, that's the outside, looks nicely in place. Then let me remove that door, here you can see the actual door into its frame. Aligns nicely, including at the bottom, and also opens up and closes normally. Then right next to it you see two different panels, the alignment is slightly off. Because the top there is nice and snug, if you go down lower the gap opens a little bit. But what, it's not more than two millimeters, so it's very minimal, so I'm not concerned about that. And then on the other side of the cabin, Again, where the two panels meet. The top there, there's a small gap and down the bottom, they're a little bit pushed together almost. But it's a matter of millimeters. So, I'm, again, I'm not worried because this, of course, remember, we are not looking at a new boat. This is a 2008 Lagoon 420, so by now in 2022, it's about 14 years old already. And then here we are looking at the door frame. So at the top you can see a very small crack in the panel. And that's all. And down the bottom here, just a little bit of a sign of some humidity is there. And then I just say to myself, it is a boat on the water 24-7 after all. So of course these furnishings are all the ones that actually align with the main bulkhead. At the back you could be checking the furnishings, but it doesn't really make sense because there, there, there is another bulkhead, but not a main load-bearing one. The main one here is the one that actually aligns with the mast position, of course, that will have the biggest loads on it all the time. So there we are, let's check in the other side of the cabin too. By the way, this toilet is a work in progress. Can't get it to drain properly, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make another video about that. Spent a fair bit of time on it already and still... I cannot get it to drain upwards into the holding tank. But anyway, we'll come back on that at another point. All right, let's have a look on the starboard side as well for the furnishings. Of course, this is not really relevant because it doesn't align with the bulkhead, if you know what I mean. So, switch on the light. 
This is where the main bulkhead is positioned. So you want to look at this, this seam there. It's just, just fine down the bottom there. Some signs of humidity, they are there for sure. And then up again. And here the alignment of the two panels. Fine, no issues with that. Just last look like this, uh, what you call this kit has been recently replaced. That's something, but anyway, right now it looks fine, right? So there is that. So to be honest, I have to say, having looked around the boat, checking all the furnishings, uh, nothing major was revealed at all. There's only some small gaps in certain places and that is it. So now we're moving on to the next step and that is either just opening up some hatches or removing some panels and then look at the actual bulkhead itself to see if there's any signs of damage, cracks or delamination or anything like that. Let's go and have a look. And the first best option to inspect the main bulkhead is actually in the starboard side of the boat uh, behind one of the cabinets in a screw down panel. So we screwed off the panel and had a look behind it. You can see that's the panel we opened up. Behind here. And another one is there. Let's have a look. Tell me what you Ah, can. yeah, you see? Yeah, you, yeah. you can see a huge part of it. So this is from the starboard, just for the film as well, from the starboard hull in this hatch, a beam the toilet basically, behind the screw down panel. That's where we can see almost the whole bulkhead, the main one. Because otherwise, later on, I'm looking at things and I don't know what I'm even seeing, right? <laughs> yeah. No? Um, it looks good. Fine. Good. Yeah, exactly. It's impossible to do. But everything you see is looking good. It Having looked at the starboard side, we went over to the port side where there is a hatch with a simple push button that you can open up and it reveals yeah, it reveals it reveals mainly electronics, part of the air conditioning system for the salon, but behind that and on the side as well, it does give a good view of the bulkhead itself. Let me show you that too. So initially the view of the bulkhead is a little bit obstructed by these all these electronics mainly to do with the air conditioning system. But looking past that, you do get a good view of the bulkhead surface area and top edge to look for possible cracks. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense, right? I'm not one of those people either. <laughs> Great. Having checked the starboard side and the port side, then in the middle there is the nav table. Behind that there is a screw down panel as well where you could fit some more electronics. If you screw that panel off, that also gives a nice view of the bulkhead from sort of center position. So that's how this looked. Yeah. Without any troubles. That's all I can say to you. Yep. <laughs> I'm happy there's no troubles and you will see whatever you want. Yep. No. So that should really answer the question whether we have cracked bulkheads on this boat that we are about to buy, a Lagoon 420 or not. And I think I'm quite happy to say that uh, there weren't any obvious signs for cracked bulkheads and I've inspected it from nearby as well. So I'm not worried about the bulkheads on this boat at all. 
so I can put my own mind at rest and some of yours as well because you've been asking me questions about it. And that also means we are getting closer and closer to actually start our adventure to sail around the world, starting here in Cyprus. So if you want to follow along with that adventure, of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications. And if you have anything to say or you want to write us some comment or tell us what you're interested to hear about, just let us know below the video and that will be amazing. Alright, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon in the next episode. Bye! Thank you.